ladies and gentlemen, here I am with the most boring Gen 3 1v1 team of all time. We got Registeel, Zapdos, Metagross. Uh, I was trying out some fun stuff like, uh, like good old fashioned Torment Steelix. We've been trying out Kecleon. I've just been getting defeated over and over. And I'm sick of it. We're just going to do Registeel, Zapdos, Metagross. And what do you reckon? Is he going Kingdra into my Zapdos? Does that even win? I think that Zapdos seems pretty good here. What are we thinking? What does Gardevoir do? Who knows? Metal sound time. Am I dead to a plus one? Okay, maybe this is worth a calculation. Gardevoir is not in the set compendium. LRXC does not consider Gardevoir to be a Pokemon. I'm going to lose to this right now. I've lost to Gardevoir, folks. I have paralyzed him and he cannot move. I have, in fact, won, ladies and gentlemen. I'm actually better than the opponent in this particular... Look, uh, you can call me whatever you want for that, but that's happened to me a couple times as well. You, you keep playing games, you're just gonna... Usually, like, rock beats scissors, but in 1v1, sometimes scissors dodges rock and gets super speed and cuts the rock in half, you know? Against all odds. You know, rock is, does not hard beat scissors. You gotta... Rock beats scissors 90% of the time. 97% of the time, or something like that. What was that? A powerful power? That was 10% into... Into a 25% after that? What do we reckon he, this guy's doing? Septile? Salamence? Registeel? Uh, Metagross is okay. Septile's annoying. It leech seed stalls you. I used to have Sludge Bomb on this, but I kept getting beat by... Celebi, and I was like, if I can't even beat Celebi, why am I running this? But maybe it beats Sceptile, that's what you run it for. Let's go with Metagross. Metagross should be alright here. What do we reckon? Sceptile? What's this standard Sceptile set? Physical Defense Leech. Let's say it's this. That's probably what it is, right? Let's take a look. Is my... I don't know if Metagross runs a different band set than he would in OU. It appears to just be full HP. Appears to just be full HP. Okay. So MASH is actually probably my best path to victory here. I think just a MASH can get me there. Yeah, that just killed because he probably wasn't even the Fizz Def. So, didn't need Sludge Bomb after all, but... Might have been dubious if... The, he, <clears throat> if he lived and was able to protect up sub over and over. He might have actually won. Not too sure, because I have a lot of health. He probably leeches quite a lot, and then... Yeah, not sure how that plays out. What in the world is a Swalot? That's not real at all. Is Swalot... That, that's not a real Pokemon. You are using a fake Pokemon. Let me, let me reposition myself. That dies to, but what does it do though? Like, does it counter me? Does it do Endeavor or something? Now you're in my head, Swalot. Now I'm doubting what the hell to click here because Swalot, okay. Let's do some detective work. Swalot. Do you get counter? You do. Mirror coat? No. Endeavor? No. Endure is something. Body slam? Encore it gets. Encore. Oh my god. Pain split? Okay, I don't want to get... Okay, be careful of Encore, be careful of counter. What if he doesn't even go to Swalot though? What if he goes to Gengar? Yeah, I'm going Metagross. And I'm going to just kill this thing. Am I dead right now? Come on. Okay. What was I worried about? What was I so worried about, folks? That was very simple. That was very... That was a simple... 
That was an extremely simple maneuver right there. That was called the uh, rock beat scissors maneuver. <clears throat> but in this instance, scissors is swallowed, which actually doesn't beat anything. So it's like rock beats uh, scissors, but but paper doesn't exist. In the, it's just rock scissors, and he chose scissors. You know, there's no paper in in this game. That was that was awesome. Anyone else playing some one v one? Let's Gen two Ubers. Who cares about that? Sorry, Gen two Ubers players. <clears throat> Joey nine 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 is the bane of my existence. God of War almost beat my Zapdos earlier. I think I could have beat it if I instead of um, thunderbolting straight away, I actually used metal sound. No, I'm not certain about that. I'm not sure. What do you guys think about Metagross here? What about a... Does a Registeel beat all? A Registeel might be the play. Because I've got a lot of special defense. I would beat a Kingdra. You can probably beat Gyarados. But it's a bit more complex versus Gyarados. Because they can Dragon Dance up. And do a lot of different things. They can do Flail. Flail is doing nothing to me if it's that. It probably needs to be Dragon Dance plus Earthquake. And I don't actually have Iron Defense. But let's try... Oh, bloody hell. If it's Dragon Dance, I'm pretty dead. But let's take a look... Uh... Okay, Counter Registeel in the... Let's chuck this in here. It's kind of cool. Registeel is like an S-tier Pokemon in 1v1. But in... Let's take a look at the worst case scenario. What if it's banned, actually? Let's, let's import all these epic sets into the calculator. This is excellent stuff. This is how you learn, folks. You import everything. So he could two-hit us. Let's throw out a counter. Okay, well, he's, he's dance. How, how do you... How do you figure that? Okay. I probably just lose to this. I don't know what he's going to get it for. Okay. That's not awesome at all. This is uh, going to kill me. Yeah, I'm dead to... Dead to EQ now. That stunk. That's okay. I won't lose to that fella again. I know what Gyarados you're using, mate. Oh, but he's probably going to switch teams, though. This is, uh, this looks like a Gen 3 OU team. We got Targar Zap. This is, uh, where's the Scarm Bliss Swampert at? This is Gen 3 OU right here. So, the problem with this is that I lose to... So, Tar beats Zap. But it probably loses to Metagross and... Dubious against Registeel, but I think it would probably win if it's DD. Now, Zap would beat... I think an Amnesia Registeel actually beats Zap. And Registeel hard loses to Gengar. Metagross? I think it could beat Gengar if it doesn't have Will-O-Wisp. You just smack him. And uh, we are pretty much fold against Zap before Metagross. I think. Have I got any... I've got a fast Pattaya set. Let's see. Let's take a look. Well, there's a chance to two hit it if it's fast. There's a 41% chance to two hit it. So meta will beat like... We'll beat these two, probably. And then beat this 40% of the time if it doesn't have bulk. You reckon it has bulk? I mean, he looks like he needs this fast guy. You know, he looks like he needs something fast on the team. Unless Gengar is relied on as the fast fella. Would he ever go Gengar? He goes Gengar if he's trying to hit Registeel. He 
He the Taurus looks good for him. It can beat these two, but not Metagross. Let's go Registeel. Alright, I think I'm winning this. Because I amnesia. And he can't actually... Should I amnesia? Yeah, let me amnesia. And then I'll just toss him down. I don't really need... I think I'll just amnesia once because, um... I don't want to, like, allow a crit. Well, good oh. Look at that. I got 34 points for that. That guy was, uh... Doesn't look like much, but this is only a temporary ladder, so... 1300. I, I did get to... The best I got was around here. 1330 something. And then I lost it all. And then I gained... It's very Sisyphusian. It's... You roll the ball up the hill and then it all comes crashing down. You get rock slide miss, overheat miss, everything miss. Oh, look who it is at number four, mate. Hello. LRXC, the 1v1 guy. Who would have thought he's high ranked in this? So yeah, number one in the ladder right now is 1500. That guy's a gamer. Joey, once again. I'm not gonna fall for it again, Joey. Joey, honestly, from me to you, this isn't gonna work on me again, this, this, uh, Gyarados crap, unless you switched it to banned Gyarados between games. I, I, I feel that Zapdos can beat anything you can do. That's my feeling. Okay, tell me I just didn't throw her. Where's, where's the Kingdra sets? I think it's probably this thing. It's probably, this is the most common Kingdra. I was using it myself. It's a good set. Okay. What I like about 1v1, you have a lot of time to, to make a single decision. Like, you can think about one decision for, like, two minutes. Okay, so... Pump in the rain plus one. That's a kill. But he's got a Hydro Pump mischance. I can sub on Rain Dance, maybe? You know, I think a sub is sensible right off the bat. Okay, well, bloody hell. I thought he might Rain Dance first. I don't know. And he just... What is up with you, Joey99? Can you stop selecting the right thing? Can you miss Hydro Pump right now? How much does Ice Beam do to me? Kills me. Ice Beam just kills me. Oh, he froze. I don't even get the Pattaya, so that didn't really matter. That's an inch. I think Zap can win that. Don't know. I haven't played out these scenarios much. I'm new to the format. Good luck, have fun, man. Uh. So Zap is pretty good into both Marowak and Moltres, but then there's Registeel, which would lose probably to Metagross, I would say. He's going to Registeel. Why would you go to bloody Marowak, man? Oh no, dude. Okay, Marowak is just one-hitting me, probably. Unless... Yeah. Oh, I'm faster and I kill him. That's a super slow Marowak, man. That must be like, uh, super bulk then. I think there is a set of, on Marowak with... Yeah, this is just full special defense. It's not the OU set, it's the... Man, maybe Marowak should creep banned Metagross though. Because that just kills without even needing... Any Swords Dance or even an, even an Adam in Nature, it just kills a Bone Meringue. Look at that. And I'm full health. That just kills me. Maybe that's worth creeping up to that speed. I don't know, though. There might be more important benchmarks. So the thing about this is that I'm very bad against Sceptile. Uh, let's go to Metagross and hope for the best. Let's sm smack him. This worked last time. And I'm probably dead to... 
getting stalled. Look at how much he heals off Leech. Yeah, that's over. He heals from Leech more than I can actually do every time, so... Yeah, goodbye. Bloody hell. How do you not die to Sceptile, man? Let's look at this. What beats Sceptile? Salamence? Can I go... What if it's banned Salamence instead of banned Metagross? Let's try that out. What does that make me worse against? Who knows? Too many Sceptiles running around. They could pretty easily just run HP Ice, right? I don't know. Let me try a different team for you guys. Let's... I have a bit of fun, because... I'm just playing some meta stuff. Let's do, like... I was using this for a bit. This is Kecleon. Let's see if this gets someone. I do like that Kecleon is usable, because uh, you take a hit and you change into the type of the thing that just hit you. So if you get hit by, like, water, you resist water now, because res water resists itself. A lot of special attacks... Fire, electric, water, grass, ice, they all resist themselves, so makes you very good against special attackers. Alright, here we go. We have And this is why, ladies and gentlemen, I do not use this team because what do I do here? This is why, folks, I was using Registeel Zapdos. Because those Pokemon are good, and these Pokemon lose to the enemy here. I could select Flygon and probably lose. To, uh... Well, okay, Flygon will beat Marowak, I think, and will also beat Moltres. However... It will lose to Counter Registeel, but he might not have Counter. There's an Iron Defense set. If it's Counter Registeel, I can win with Kecleon. By tricking it to Choice Band. See what happens when you think things through, folks. You realize, wait a minute, there's a way out here. There's a way to win. What's he thinking? Moltres is probably not the pick. It loses to probably Flygon and Jolteon. And even Kecleon. Moltres is out of the question. Registeel is going to beat Jolteon, probably. I cannot really threaten it very much. I think that you got to go with uh, Flygon or Kecleon. Because Jolteon's doing crap versus Marowak. So, it's just 50-50 between Marowak and Registeel. I'm going to go with Flygon. Because it beats Registeel as well, sometimes. As long as it's not counter. Now, this is good stuff. You see what I do here, folks? We win games. We do things well. This is great. That's what Pokemon's about right there. I didn't just win a 50-50 and pretend it was skill. I actually am great at the game. Now, well, that was a favored 50-50 because Flygon also beats Registeel sometimes. Therefore, uh, it was a better choice. Now, the thing about this. I'm going to lose right here to... Sep no, Jolteon's crazy in this matchup right now. Is it? It loses to Alakazam, I think, because it's going to synchronize... Toxic. I'm going to get toxic to myself by Synchronize. It is faster than Alakazam, though. But it can Calm Mind, it can Encore, and it can Seismic Toss, and I'm in a lot of trouble. Flygon? Kecleon for sure beats Alakazam. Kecleon is going to destroy Alakazam. Here's the question. Let's say Sceptile versus Kecleon. Let's say this happens. Let's just import this, because who cares about the Kecleon sets? We won't even specify 1v1, because what other context do you even use Kecleon? Sorry, and you enjoy it. See, this is not going to win. We're going to lose to... Unless we trick him the choice band. You know fucking what? That would get there. That would get him. He's not going to freaking sub into a Kecleon. Okay, so trick choice band is going to get... Sceptile. And... I'm pretty sure I beat Zapdos 1v1. He's a special attacker, remember? I got big special defense. I smack him with return. 
I think this is happening. I think we're good. I think that uh, this is about to win the battle. I think he's got uh, Pattaya Berry, actually. But I don't think I die to whatever he can do. I'm quite bulky. I don't believe I'm dying to this. That's my belief is that I'm I'm all right here. That was great. Kecleon actually had a path to victory against everything there. Kecleon was going to beat Zep Septile with a simple trick maneuver. Or I suppose it's a 50-50 from his perspective if he knows the Kecleon set. Because then he could sub on trick and I think that blocks trick. I don't think trick goes through sub. Joey99, we meet again, my friend. You and your damn God of War. God of War, which is not on the damn set compendium, which is not considered a Pokemon by many scholars of Gen 3 1v1, would not consider this to be real. And here you are. Does have Trace, Calm Mind. Not the world's worst thing. I'm going to say Kecleon beats both God of War and Kingdra, but it does not beat Gyarados. Absolutely not. Jolteon. Listen, I have beaten Kingdra with Jolteon before, but it's rough because... I'll tell you why. You get one hit by a Hydro Pump in the rain. He doesn't even need a Pattaya Berry. So you really have to... Uh, you can stall out the rain turns with Sub Protect if you click the right buttons. But it's really dubious. It's not great. Flygon is going to fall instantly to... Kingdra with an Ice Beam. And Gyarados is going to intim you. It's not looking good. Excuse me. I think Flygon probably beats Gardevoir, but... I don't think there's any point picking Flygon when Kecleon also beats Gardevoir and it beats Kingdra. So it's either Kecleon or Jolteon. Um, so we're going Kecleon versus Gardevoir or Kingdra, or we're going Jolteon versus Gara. But then Jolteon probably also beats... God of War. I think he likes the seahorse. I think that my intelligent analysis of the situation is that he enjoys the seahorse. And he's going to click on the seahorse, folks. And I was so right. And now I can resist high, uh, Ice Beam and also... What the hell was that? HP Grass? HP Electric. LRXC, that's not in the set compendium. I'm calling bullshit, man. I'm calling garbage. I wasn't prepared for HP Electric. Why are people playing around Kekli on that? That's not supposed to happen, LRXC. I got my eye on you, man. This was supposed to this was supposed to beat Kingdra. This was supposed to defeat Kingdra. His greatest strength, becoming the water type, was his greatest downfall. That was nonsense. That was garbage. I consider that to be a fake victory for my enemy there. Johnny99, whoever the hell you are, listen to me. That was fake. Let's return to the... Let's return to the Registeel. Where's that? Gaming. Let's return to the Zapdos. Zapdos is just way too good in this. It's crazy. You click Zapdos. I wonder if you just click Zapdos every time and you'd have a decent win rate. That'd be fun. That'd be funny. That's garbage, man. HP Electric... You know what happened earlier? I played against HP Dragon Kingdra, and they turned my damn Kingdra into Dragon type. Sorry, my Kecleon. And they stabbed hit me with uh, super effective Dragon. HP Dragon. I'm actually fuming about it, and I'm not happy about it at all. You know what the play is there? to the trick. Trick there will cover HP Electric. It will also deny Rain Dance. And then I can rest how many times I want. Trick is the optimization there. Then they can't switch moves. Although if they're HP Dragon, they win every time. But that that bloke, I'm gonna I'm going Kecleon and I'm clicking Trick next time, and you're toast. Okay. That was the unoptimized line. I've now optimized the Kecleon versus Kingdra HP Electric line, and you are honestly. You better watch out. So. Listen. We've got... I, d I think that Registeel beats Zapdos. I think that... Uh, 
Zapdos may or may not lose to Gengar. I'm not 100%. What, what is Gengar? Taunt three attacks with Never Melt Ice, Ice Punch is probably going to... I think Never Melt Ice with Ice Punch is going to get through Zapdos. I think that... I actually just get destroyed by Gengar here. I think Gengar actually just 6 0s me. Wait, how fast is. Do they run? They probably outrun. They probably try to outrun Zapdos, right? Yeah. Okay. If he ices punches me and I sub, I have a 25% roll to kill him with Thunderbolt. I think we go for that. He went Aerodactyl, I lose. Damn. Uh, I was focused on this Gengar. I thought he would go Gengar because it's so good into... And, and Registeel can't touch it either. Alright. Well, he might miss Rock Slide. That would be cool. You know, maybe he didn't uh, think I was this set, and he thought I was bulky enough to take two ice punches. Or maybe he's not even that, that Gar set. He's like, this Gar set, and he doesn't even two hit me. So. Oh, what the? What? Is he exerting his pressure? No. No rock slide aerodactyl. Am I? Rock slide, rock slide, rock slide, rock slide. He's this, but he doesn't have pressure. He's not exerting his pressure. Does it not show in Gen 3? No, it's definitely like Suicune and stuff show pressure. Alright, well that's, that's wacko. I beat Zapdos with aerodactyl. That makes me really awesome. Okay. Let's... I like Registeel into Zam. No, I don't, because it just encores me. I could, this team has problems with Alakazam, I think. I think Zapdos can beat it by just clicking Thunderbolt over and over. So Zapdos is good into Zam. Or it's my best bet into Zam. Well, Mets can beat Zam, actually. It's probably not Ice Punch. Yeah, I, like, uh, I'm thinking of Ice Punch, but I think they run usually, like, Encore, Seismic Toss, Recover, that stuff. They don't always, and, like, Carmine Psychic is a set, too. I don't think they run Ice Punch super often. Charizard also would uh, get Rock Slided by the Ments. And how about Aerodactyl? See, he's like... People run Adamant Band. Let's assume the worst and say he's adamant banned. Which I'll import into the calc anyway, because that's, I suppose, worth having. There's not many Aerodactyl sets anyway. And what's my immense Salamence uh, Bulky Dance. Bulky Band. Sorry, I can't speak. I can't speak English. I cannot. Minus one, and I kill 87% of the time. Okay, I think Salamence is good. Even if he's adamant banned, he has to flinch me to kill. And then I have a 87% roll to kill. And this is Zam, and he does have Ice Punch. Well, bloody hell. Okay, all right. Well, I don't... I feel like that wasn't that stupid there. I mean... Am I supposed to team read that it was Ice Punch? I'm not too sure. Can I, can I team read that he has Ice Punch there? Does he need it? Maybe he needs it to hit, to hit Salamence. Because he's pretty weak to Salamence. Unless he has that. Alright, Joey, you piece of shit. You're not getting me again, man. Well, what now? What, what, what would happen before? The Kingdra HP Electric to my Keldeo. 
And I was going to trick him, but now I'm not using Keldeo anymore. I'm using this Registeel one. All right. Get beaten, man. That's it. It's over. That was easy. Click on Zapdos. It's that simple. That's all it takes. I do want to beat him with the... Let's do the Kecleon again for the fans at home. For the fans at home, we're doing Kecleon to close it out. I think... Well, I've been gaming for 30 minutes. Look, time flies when you're playing this format. It's actually so... Spammable. Because the game takes two seconds. You can just play... You can just absolutely... Queue for hours and not even notice. This is not good for my short attention span. It's too... Stimulating. What do we got? Jolt destroys... Jolt is going to beat Sceptile and Zap. But lose to Kecleon. Kecleon is probably going to beat... I just called Registeel Kecleon and I'm sorry for doing that. That's my Twitch channel. Flygon. Now Kecleon's a better option versus... I think Kecleon could beat everything here. Kecleon, you trick Registeel. You can even just spam returning at Zapdos, I think. And then Sceptile. It's a 50-50, but I could trick him as he leeches, and then he's, we're good. Let's make it happen. Okay, 50-50, folks. He wouldn't dare. He wouldn't dare do it. He wouldn't do it. He would not. Sub. What are you? Is he subbing? I'm starting the damn timer. Pro no, he can just protect and for safely scout when I'm locked in too. I didn't expect this optimization. Why didn't I think of that? He can just protect and there's no risk at all, ladies and gentlemen. What the hell have I done? Kecleon literally sucks, man. Why is everyone out to get Kecleon, honestly? What the hell is all this Kecleon counterplay? Can you let me have this? It's fun. Listen to me. Okay, Jolt will be Stami. I think we're really weak to Salamence. I think Salamence is going to be a problem. But we can bluff that we have HP Ice on Jolteon. He doesn't know. So, Flygon is going to gust Hera. Flygon probably beats Salamence. So, it's between Flygon and Jolteon, I think. I don't think Kecleon's good here. It loses to... It'll beat Stami, but so will Jolt. I guess, what's the difference? Same thing. But I think Jolt is a bit better against Stami than Kecleon is. Let's do Flygon. Is he going to endure? He doesn't know Gust. He has no clue. He has no idea. He has no the faintest idea I'm clicking Gust here. That's it. It's over for you. That was awesome. I'm having too much fun with Kecleon. I'm c continuing to play Kecleon. And I'm going to lose my points as a result. We got a Venusaur. What, is, what do you do? I know Tauros, you got Band, and then you got sub Leechy. And I know, um... Re I know what Registeel can do. Venusaur, on the other hand, hard anti-Sceptile. Dude, I need that. Sceptile's a bastard, man. Sceptile keeps getting me. I need this thing. So, can this set beat? Oh, Frenzy Plant plus, plus Overgrow is actually kind of crazy. That could break through Cacleon. Okay, so, I'm thinking the play is probably Flygon into Venusaur, right? You EQ it with Choice Ban. EQ is going to do nicely. I think Flygon is pretty okay into Registeel, but it's dubious. He could have Counter. Taurus is going to get destroyed by... Flygon's going to get destroyed by Taurus. I'm getting a Timmed, plus he's going to hit me with a huge attack. I think actually Taurus just completely beats me. 
actually. Wait, what the hell do I do against Taurus? Am I just... I just lose to Taurus. Straight up. He just clicks Hyper Beam Band. What the hell is one to do? Yeah, what am I thinking about here? This is just... Uh, I should just forfeit already. I should just forfeit already, man. Uh-oh. Yeah, what the heck. Oh dear, well what, what else could I have done? Maybe Jolt? And he throws by clicking like Hyper Beam? Okay. Team's got problems. Let's try this LRXC team. What's the deal with Starmie, man? Pattaya? Camouf- What is camouflage? What the? Huh? Changes it to normal type. It changes you to normal type. What in the world is that? So what did- You change it to normal type and then what? You- a neutral against electric, I guess. And then you beat... Wait, that lets you beat Zapdos. Hello? What? You camouflage, you become normal type, and then you cosmic power, and you beat Zapdos. This is crazy. I can't even believe that. Yeah, that's over. As expected. What the hell do we reckon? Cradley honestly gets ice beamed. And is pretty bad into also into Heracross. And probably also even Salamence. So I'm thinking it's Zapdos. And uh, can Swamp it? Cursed Swamp it can probably actually beat. Heracross. Okay, how does this happen? Am I the... Okay, we're Curse Rest. I think I have this set in the calculator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, Starmie. Let's say that it's... Pattaya Starmie. Modest Pattaya. So, EQ will two hit it. But it can sub into range of... Pattaya, and it doesn't really kill either, so... I think we're fine here. Okay, Pump did 38. And I don't think he can do enough. Yeah, he can't do enough. Cool. That's awesome. Nice team, LRXC. Your team is getting results. Your team actually yields results. I think Swamp had just beat his whole team there. Or maybe it didn't. I can't actually recall. Let's play one more. I, I think I said that five games ago and I forgot. And I just continue to play this. You can forgive me, I hope. It's a rare occurrence. You, you're not going to get a chance to play this format and for it to be this active. Because there's also the ladder tournament going on. People are playing. Usually these ladder spotlights are pretty dead, but... The combination of the fact it's a fast-paced meta game, there's a tournament, and uh, I think there's a little bit of a niche community as well. We've got gamers, and I'm gonna match against Joey99 right now and lose to his Kingdra, and I tell you that as a fact. Okay, it's actually someone else. What do we reckon? I'm thinking Swampert is crazy here. Hariyama frightens me. Hariyama frightens and confuses me. We've got Scope Lens. I hope to God it's not this, because I'm going to be upset if I get crit. Bandit? Surely I curse. Counter. Oh, he's effed. He's actually effed.
I should just import all these sets. Okay. Honestly, I'm just maxing out. What is he gonna do? Okay, he can... I guess he can counter... Can you counter when you're behind a sub? I think no. Can he stop me from just maxing out? I guess he can threaten to kill me. Is what he can do. So I'm plus three right now. But I can just rest up. He can't actually threaten me. Is this set here? I think, um... Yeah, I don't think he can do anything to stop me here. 26 plus 2. 226s is 52. I'm gonna heal... Let's just rest anyway. Let's not F around. I could have cursed once, I, th I believe, but that's okay. Okay, he's got Focus Punch. I'm pretty certain I can curse here safely. And I think actually I can kill him. Assuming he... Okay, I guess if I'm a true tryhard, let's do this. Let's figure out his amount of attack investment. So he does not have this much attack investment. Wait a minute. Wait, I have even I have even less defense than that. 384. I have even less. And I'm plus five. How come? How come focus punch is doing so little right now? That's not making sense to me. I actually have attack investment too. So... I have no clue what is happening right now. I don't know why this is... Um... I'm sorry, I had choice band on the calc. He just has no choice band, that's all. And, okay, that lines up with that, and then he probably... What if he has full health? Okay, even if he has full health, full defense, I kill him with Earthquake, so... No worries. I think we've just checkmated him. Don't think he can win at all. That's awesome. Okay. I'm gonna leave it at that, folks. That was fun. I'm gonna keep playing this, I guess. Because it's so... So quick and easy to play, to be honest. But... Building teams is a bit of a headache, because it's hard to cover everything. That's alright, though. Thank you for watching. Try it out for yourself. It's good fun. Uber's content coming soon. I'm in talks. We're going to cover the tournament and do other Uber's related things. Uber's is epic. Thank you for watching. Follow me on Twitch as well. I'll be streaming there shortly. Not actually shortly, but like probably in the next few days. Okay, thank you.